At this point, it's almost as if people and companies have a fear of missing out about not doing enough on AI. A FOMO that is pushing new players into spending on AI and in some instances even refashioning their whole approach. The latest new player, and a big one, is Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. According to a report by the New York Times, Bezos has planned an AI startup that he will help run as its co-chief executive. The NYT quoted three sources as saying that his company will launch with $6.2 billion in funding and a part of it will come from Bezos. And this will make it one of the most well-funded early-stage startups in the world. Now, this company will be called Project Prometheus. The name sounds like something we've heard of recently, right? I'll tell you why it sounds so familiar. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg recently said that his company's Super Intelligence Labs will launch Prometheus, its first multi-gigawatt data center, later this year. Zuckerberg said that just one of such Titan clusters will cover a significant part of the footprint of Manhattan. And that gives Zuckerberg two things to worry about. One, possible competition from the new AI project by Bezos, and two, a possible overshadowing of the name of his data center. For full details on what the meta data centers will look like, you could watch our iSight episode on Zuckerberg's announcement. I'll leave the link in the description box. With Project Prometheus, Bezos will take a formal operational role in a company for the first time since he stepped down as a chief executive of Amazon in 2021. Yes, he is closely involved in SpaceX competitor Blue Origin, but his formal position there is that of a founder. Now, with this new project, Bezos is entering a space that is already very crowded and one where hundreds of billions of dollars are already swirling around. Meta, Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, Microsoft, Perplexity, you name it. Goldman Sachs estimates that global AI-related infrastructure spending could reach $3 to $4 trillion by 2030. Just a handful of the big AI companies are expected to spend about $500 billion just this year. And even though many AI projects launch with a lot of media buzz and social media chatter, this new company by Bezos has kept a very low profile. According to the NYT report, Vic Bajaj, a scientist who has worked closely with Google co-founder Sergey Brin, will be its co-founder and co-chief executive. Vikram, or Vic Bajaj, is a scientist entrepreneur whose work centers on applying AI, large-scale computation, and the physical sciences to biotech, engineering, and manufacturing. He co-founded Foresight Labs in 2018 and served as its CEO where he built companies at the intersection of biology, data science, and frontier technologies. He also served as the chief scientific officer at Verily, which is an alphabet life sciences company from 2013 to 2016. The NYT said that Project Prometheus will focus on AI that will help in engineering and manufacturing in a number of fields, including computers, aerospace, and automobiles. And what is most significant about it is its funding, a whopping $6.2 billion to start with. Elon Musk, among the top billionaires in the world along with Jeff Bezos, called out the Amazon founder as a copycat after the NYT story was published. And this is not the first time Musk has said something like this. He previously accused Bezos of copying him after his aerospace company Blue Origin came into existence. Now, Vic Bajaj, who has co-founded Project Prometheus, recently updated his LinkedIn profile to list himself as the co-CEO and co-founder of Project Prometheus. But if one goes to the startup's profile page, it is mostly blank with a blacked out logo and a description that reads AI for the physical economy. How this new model could impact the world, we'll get to see in the coming months, but there's another very important and pivotal issue we must talk about in this video. AI firm Anthropic says that an inflection point has been reached in cybersecurity. In mid-September this year, they detected suspicious activity that turned out to be a highly sophisticated espionage campaign. So, what is so different this time? There have been countless espionage campaigns in the past. Well, the attackers used AI's agentic capabilities to an unprecedented degree. They used AI not just as an advisor, but to execute the cyber attacks. The threat was a Chinese state-sponsored group and it manipulated Anthropic's cloud code tool into attempting infiltration into roughly 30 global targets. The operation targeted large tech companies, financial institutions, chemical manufacturing companies, 
and government agency. Anthropic says that this is the first documented case of a large-scale cyber attack executed without substantial human intervention. It says that this campaign has substantial implications for cyber security in the age of AI with systems that can be run autonomously for long periods of time and that complete complex tasks independently, the viability of large-scale cyber attacks goes up drastically. And these attacks are likely to only grow in their effectiveness in the future.